Hey guys and girls, I'm Link123 and welcome to the very last update video for my beta project for Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, we are very close to the release of the whole project. It will be released for the public the 24th December this year. So it won't be cancelled or executed or done anything to it. It will be released in the middle of the day. I can't set any any precisely date on it but the 24th December this year it will be released I hope you guys and girls are really hyped about it because I am anyways this project video will only be about how to apply the texture pack and how it will look when you start up your game first time with all of the settings made into your ROM so let's just start to talk about this whole project because when you first of all download this project, you will see the texture pack which is called The Legend of Zelda, which is just a normal folder. And that's the whole texture pack that you need to paste in your high risk texture folder underneath the Project 64 1.6 for example. And then you need to go under Prologins, High Risk Textures and there you will see it, The Legend of Zelda. That's the whole texture pack. When you go under, under the folder here, you will see some different textures and it's really easy to navigate around it. It's actually just separated folders with all of the textures in it. And we also got names for each texture so it's really easy to navigate in. I tried my best to make it really easy just to see what happens to your game when you apply this and if it's done right it will also be loaded up in the game. So for example if you want to see some adult link textures you just press on that folder and then you will see some different textures appearing on adult link. This also works with the chic eyes for example. The six different eyes she got so that's pretty easy to navigate in. I hope you guys and girls think the same because it's really pretty fun just to see oh I'm in the lost woods what happens there. It's these textures right so it's just a little fun thing. Most of the textures that I have been downloading from the internet is basically just in French or Spanish. It, I think it's pretty hard to find some actual English translated texture packs, but this texture pack is actually 100% English, even though it's it's pretty easy. So, yeah, let's just state it there, right? Anyways, you will also see this, for example, a pre-rendered background that may never made it into my beta of the beta of Ocarina of Time. So this is actually a cancelled beta project from the beta of Ocarina of Time. Pretty weird to think about. But anyways, I'm pretty glad that for that this pink dude never made it into the pre-rendered background in these shops. Because he, he doesn't fit, even though it's pretty cool to have him behind the disc, right? Anyways, that's basically the whole texture pack. I won't show you all of the textures because it will take a long time. But basically you will just see... For example, the field, or this is just a grass, appearing on around Hyrule Field, yeah, that's what will be loaded when you are appearing in Hyrule Field. So that's all, right? Next up, you need to start up your emulator. It doesn't matter which version you have, but I will prefer you play on 1.6 because that's the one I have been playing on the whole time I have been working on this project. So I think, and I guess, that's the best uh, version to run the project. I got a lot of compl complaints sorry, about this is not a patch, this is not a real mod. No it's not. It's basically just a really, really easiest way to add some beta elements into your ROM without patching it in any way. You don't need any kind of third party content just to apply the textures or anything. You basically just need another graphic plugin which is really easy. Just search it up on Google. We will talk about that uh, in a second. But yeah, it's a really easy method to uh, get some few uh, beta elements in your ROM without patching it in any way. So if you don't want to play this anymore, just delete the texture pack and just change the graphical plugin actually, that's much easier. And also the game shark codes will be uh, also included in the folder here. That You can just turn them off if you don't want to have them anymore. So it's really easy just to take it on or off again. So I hope you guys and girls will, will see the easy thing with this method instead of patching your whole ROM and you need to download it once again if it doesn't work and stuff. This is just straight up. It's really easy. So the only thing you need to 
load up the whole texture pack is the graphical plugin called Glide64 Final Date, or that's the version I use. Uh, you can use two different pl plugins, Glide64 or Modlord's Rise plugin. It's it doesn't matter because both of the these graphical plugins can actually load up textures from um, a third-party folder. Um, but I will think that Glide64 is easier for you guys and girls to figure out if you're new for Zelda modding or Zelda editing, whatever you want to call it, since this is not modding. Anyways, next up you need to go on the graphical plugin, the actual settings for the whole um, graphic plugin, and then just do the same thing at, as I have been doing here. It might take a time, but this just works every time. Uh, the only thing that you really need to take care about is save textures cache to hard disk. This needs to be turned off because if you have been loading up, for example, cell shading textures in Ocarina of Time before, it actually saved this to uh, your hard disk. So every time you start up the emulator with the texture enchantment turned on, it will remember those textures and it won't load up these textures, so make sure it's turned off. And the rest, yeah, just do as I have been doing here. So, the next thing is basically straightforward. You need to go to your recent ROM. Uh, the only thing you need to take care about here is you need to have the Ocarina of Time volume or version 1.0 because uh, most of the game share codes only works for this version. It's just a normal American version or the gold cartridge version, but you can just download from it the internet. But I won't, um, I won't make anything up here. I, I won't say it's legal, but yeah, you find a way, right? Next up, we just yeah load up the ROM and it should work. You can see this. Uh, whoa! You just saw the whole. Uh, texture thing there going on when it was loading I think no okay my my emulator just crashed a little bit I think let's just turn it on again let's try once again and then you will see the texture loader here it's just a black screen there it loads all of the textures and boom we are in the actual game you can see already here the field as I was talking about before is much greener than the original version, Epona is more brown, and Link also looks a little bit different. Boom, Zelda 64 Ocarina of Time, it's actually my homemade logo for the whole project. It fucks a little bit up, but I think it looks really, really cool um, in comparison to the original logo, right? So, Basically, that's how you apply the texture pack for your game. Just just look at Link, he looks really cool. This looks actually like the beta of Ocarina of Time. Nice. Anyways, let's try to press start. And then we actually should be ready, right? So, if you were uh, loading up any save states, uh, the emulator needs to load all of the textures once again. But we won't do that, we will just start in Temple of Time. Yeah, there is a lot of changes in here. It's much more brownish looking, just like an early screenshot that appears on Google. And I think that's a pretty cool idea, because it looks like a temple, right? Instead of this extremely grey and boring area. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, uh, I can talk about all of the different changes for hours. But uh, what I will be talking about is, well, for now, is actually just how to apply all of the textures, or not the textures for sure, the game shark codes. First of all, you need to press Ctrl C on your on your keyboard while you're playing around on your emula emulator. Sorry. So, boom. Now you see this menu for cheats are just popped up on my screen, and then you will retrieve this document uh, containing all of the different codes for your game. So, the next thing you need to do is just right click on the white area here. You might not have all of these different codes, because, yeah, I'm just a little nerd, so I just pasted all of them in. You need to right click, add new cheat, call it whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter. And then, you can uh, just go down here, 
to the address and value and then just paste the code that up uh, that appears in the document so that's pretty easy right some of you guys might know this if you have been playing on emulators before so the different game shark codes that appears in my mod is basically um, some different things uh, beta crawling adult link that makes adult link crawl that's pretty cool beta from front flip attack also pretty cool the beta interface 1 or just the first one here the interface 2 is just uh, a button and the C buttons no B button uh, is appearing so it's just an earlier version it doesn't matter but you will get both of these codes uh, the beta inventory just replaces some different things in your game in the actual in-game menu the beta jump is just forward jump um, the beta jump slash I don't really remember which one of these codes, the beta front flip or the beta jump slash, what one of them works well, but uh, we will might we will probably figure that out. Uh, the beta new file cutscene actually adds a whole new cutscene for the intro to Ocarina of Time before you actually play it. Um, beta one-handed strike also works, I think. Uh, beta pull out items. It makes Link able just to take out the sword, for, ex for example, without slashing with it. Pretty nice. Uh, the beta swords uh, glow also just adds some few glowing to your sword, I think. I don't re remember it actually. Uh, the fade out while you're appearing in another, another area. Also pretty nice with the trifles on it. And the beta young Link tonic, which is the best one. It doesn't matter, you will also get a blue-green tonic, but uh, it's basically just for the adult Link, so I will prefer the beta young Link tonic better. So, we just uh, we just made it into the game. Boom. Boom. Holy crap. I'm running really fast. No, come on. Uh! So, let's just go out on Hyrule Field for a second. The textures are pretty messed up in my emulator, you can see it's really pixelated. But I, I don't know what happens there, it just happens sometime. Uh, I think it's something with the graphical plugin, um, but don't think about that, because that's not we're going to uh, do anything against. It won't be like this in your version, because you might have some different uh, settings on your graphic emulator. So, for example, first of all, uh, we can see that was the way to pull out beta items um, So let's try to put away and then I pull out the sword like boop Without slashing with it. So that's pretty nice. It's just a little different thing the beta inventory It's just a little bit different. We got the pharaohs rind and and all of these dins fire um, made into medallions instead the different uh, Ice arrows, the elemental arrows here, the ice arrows, no, the fire arrows for sure. Boom! Pretty nice, right? Um, and then the Megaton Hammer, which is just the ice hammer now. Pretty cool. It's really nice, actually. What have we done more to this? <laughs> Let's try to load up a save state. Boom! We are Young Link now. And if we're going in here, we'll also see some new textures right here. It's pretty cool, really. Because actually all of this, uh, the whole area here is actually just replaced with new textures to make it look more beta-ish. Um, holy crap, I, I can't steer Link with all of this f speed on. Oh, come on. Can you, can you please just touch? Okay, good. This is like a really early beta, beta place where Link should retrieve the actual Triforce. But I just made it in to uh, a little extra room for your game. And Link will retrieve a hard piece or he will be the winner. So that's pretty cool. It's just a little thing. But I hope you guys and girls will enjoy that for sure. Mm, okay, boom. We're just in the forest temple. That's normal, right? So it's basically just to see how the game will look like when you first of all played one. Uh, one time, the first time for sure, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys and girls will enjoy this project because I put a lot of effort into it. 
And um, yeah, some of you guys and girls might think it's really simple in comparison with, for example, Aerial Blast's uh, Team Beta Trifles project, but um, of what I have heard, then this project should actually be cancelled. I don't know why, but some people just said uh, in the comment section of my videos that the project was cancelled due to school, and what the hell? I can't live with that. It's not good, really. Because the Team Beta Triforce thing there was, yeah, it was really amazing, I really loved that project, but I don't know, I really don't hope it was cancelled, really, because it would be really sad if it, if it was. It, it was a bit more detailed than my project, but it was also a patch for the game, so we got new models, we got new attacks, we got new sounds, probably, um, but this is, yeah, it's, it's much easier to play around in your game, right, so... I just hope you guys and girls will support my project instead of his because it's a little com it, it's a little compilation here. It's a little I don't know. It's about to be better than him, right? But it's two different projects. So I just hope you guys and girls will actually support both of the projects because I think it means a lot to both of us. Also Aerial Blast. I hope. So basically that was the whole video about this, it was uh, pretty simple this video, I hope you guys and girls just learned a little bit more and just got some new footage of the whole project. And I hope you guys and girls will be more hyped than you already am probably uh, until the project will be released the 24th December this year. And I can promise you guys and girls it won't be cancelled in any way. What is this, what is this doing? Oh. I all I'm I have always been scared of this this dude because he just looks, uh, he just looks really creepy, right? He's just, yeah, he's just thin and he's just oh, he got these wide eyes. I really hate it. Anyways, um, if you want more information about this project before it gets released, then make sure to write a little comment and I will make sure to answer all questions about this project. And also about me, if it's not too pervert. Hmm. Anyways, I hope you, I see you guys and girls in the next video uh, from me. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe and comment and share and do whatever you want to do, right? See you next time, guys and girls. Bye.